Coast of the United States? Well, if you're Wonderful. Really... Thanks, Captain. I'll go get some equipment. Jeff, wait. Now what? Buried treasure. So oh, that's it. I'm all set, Captain. All set for what? To dig for pirate treasure. But what's the bucket for? Well, Arco wouldn't let me have any barrels, and I have to have something to carry the gold pieces in. Look, Jeff, pirate treasure isn't just lying around in the sand waiting for you to scoop it into a bucket or a barrel. Besides, how do you know there's treasure on Mulberry Island? Look, you've heard of Blackbeard the pirate, haven't you? Yeah. Well, in the early part of the 18th century, he operated off the east coast of the United States. He sunk ships right and left and captured a huge amount of treasure. Well, I know, but that's... People have searched the island of Ocracoke where Blackbeard lived and found nothing but a few gold coins. Some silver bars have been discovered on the Isle of Shoals off the coast of New Hampshire, and some bars and coins have been dug up on the islands of Smutty Nose and Londoner. But the really big treasure has never been found. So? It's on the island of Mulberry, Captain, off the coast of Maryland. How do you know? Because if I were a pirate, that's where I'd bury it. Jeff, even if there is treasure on Mulberry Island, what makes you think you could find it? With this mine detector, I can find anything. OK, hop into the chamber, but leave the bucket. I'm sure we can figure out a way to get the treasure in here after you find it. Yes, sir. Stand by to materialize. Oh, Captain. Yes? Yeah? You'd better have somebody clean out the vault. We're going to need plenty of room. Stand by, Jeff. Okay, Tetro, let's get back to work on the time machine. Did you materialize Jeff to Mulberry Island? Yes, he's combing the beach right now with his mine detector. Do you think he'll get anything? Sure. Sand, sunburn, and blisters, but there's no stopping him now. No sign of treasure around here either. Might as well get back to the lab. Yeah. 
Someone sure lost his head over something. Blackbeard's treasure. I must be right near it. Now won't Captain Zero be surprised. All right, Tetro. Stand by to check the power output on the time machine. Yes, sir. Bring up the amps very slowly to 10 million. Right. Check better cycle. 47.877. Increase amperage to 20 million and check voltage. Right. Captain, resistors are heating up. Open the trolenoids and cut the resistance on the pentacycle. Yes, sir. Tetro, main switch short enough. We're going back into time. Cut the trolenoids off. Hurry. Yes, sir. Power's off, Captain. How do we stand? Time machine projected back into the year 1718 before I could stop it. Stand by to repair at once. I'll be right down. Yes, sir. That's funny. What could have happened to that skull and sword? I put them right here. Sure got cold. In fact, the whole beach seems to have changed. <laughs> I guess I just didn't notice things when I first got here. Man, I wonder how far down that treasure is. December 14, 1718. Sunk the Protestant Caesar of Boston with all hands aboard. A good day's work, eh, Richards? Aye, but not many ships escape us if there's treasure aboard. Nor many of their crew. Too bad so few of them can swim. It ain't easy to stay afloat, Blackbeard, when one is already full of old. <laughs> Aye, that was a good fight. But they'd be no match for Blackbeard. It is a beautiful sight against the sky. Watching a ship burn to the water's edge. And it's many a more beautiful sight you'll see before the Queen Anne's revenge lowers her flag. From South Carolina to Maryland, the sea is ours. And any place else, if we wish. But Blackbeard, what of the King's proclamation? A pardon to pirates who quit the profession. Ha! We lift one of His Majesty's ships. And we can do it again. Let those retire who's afraid to fight. The Royal Navy holds no fear for me. King George may rule the land, but I shall rule the sea. But what of the booty, Blackbeard? The men will be wanting their share. Aye, and they'll get it. Those that are left when we divide it. But the fewer the men, the bigger the share. I like your logic, Blackbeard. What thinks he of this chest here, Richards? Hey, there is something about it too that I like. Me thinks. It would be a pity to split it with a crew. Wealth is a root of evil, you know. You're right, Blackbeard. We must give a wee bit of thought to their soul. Methinks we should bury this chest on Mulberry Isle and later return. 
Just ye and me. A noble thought, Blackbeard. For the sake of the crew, we'll suffer the evils of will alone. <laughs> Hold. Go ready the boat. We'll take this ashore to the other side of the island, out of sight of the ship. Just we two. Just we two. Aye. But only one of the two will return. <laughs> Man, I must be getting close to something by now. That be deep enough, laddie. Captain! Captain, is it? And where might be this captain you're calling? Well, he... he's... 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 Uh, what a strange-looking scupper you be. And warped in the head, no doubt. Uh, what be you doing in Mulberry Island? In a hole in the sand. I... I was looking for buried treasure. Oh? And who might be a burying treasure here? Blackbeard, the pirate. You hear that, Richards? Blackbeard, the pirate, might be a burying treasure here. And how did you come about this bit of news? Well, well I, I saw it on a... You've been listening to board me ship, eh? But tis a might early be. The treasure's no yet been put to rest. But, but... Think no more on it, laddie. The hole you've dug will no go to waste. What do you mean? Many a man's found a watery grave because of that gold. And I don't mind adding a boy to the lot. But... But who are you? As if you didn't know. <laughs> Blackbeard's the name, laddie. Captain Blackbeard. No, it can't be. Wait. The time machine. Captain Zero was working on it. Something must have gone wrong. I'm back in time. Captain, Captain. No use to call, laddie. Your ship's nowhere in sight. Lower that box, Richards. And leave plenty of room for the boy. Hey! Captain! All right, laddie. Dead men tell no tales. And the same applies to ye. And if it's prayers you want to say, I'll give you a line or two. Captain! Captain Zero! All right, Daddy. Your time's up. Into the hole you go. Captain! beginning to materialize. Coming in. They're in. Captain! Avast, you lovers. What am I? 
What trickery is this? Where's me island and me treasure? Drop your sword, Blackbeard. Shoot it out of his hand, Captain Zero. Oh, Captain Zero, is it? So this be your Captain Zero, eh? Drop your sword, I said. In a pig's eye. Now put your guns on the console here. It's magic, it is. Magic of the devil himself. Put down your guns. Hey. But I wouldn't harm you or the boy here. It was all a joke. Sit down, Blackbeard. Hi. I've heard quite a bit about your jokes, Edward Teach. How do you know me real name? I know quite a bit about you and your ruthless plundering of ships on the Spanish main and the coast of America. Well, now, that's putting it a bit strong, Captain. Oh, mayhap I have taken a vessel or three, and a man or two may have fallen in the way of me cutlass. But gold is where you find it, sir, and can only be had for the taking. Yeah, like the time you marooned your own men on a desert island while you sailed off with their share of the treasure. Yeah. <laughs> Aye, that was a good one. The joke was on them for sure. You should have heard them screeching and cursing in the sand. Their faces black with rage. One day the joke may be on you, Blackbeard. Let the day come. He is as the upper hand uses it. Ow, oh, man! You're lucky it isn't your head. All right, Jet. Stand by to materialize him back where he came from. Wait! I know it's a good man when I sees one. Out ye and the lad here like to throw it with me on the Queen Anne's Revenge. With ye at the guns and me at the wheel, nary a ship could escape us. We'd be loaded with treasure in the blink of an eye. No, thanks. Talk to him, laddie. Think of the life on the sea. High adventure and gold for the taking. Golly, it does sound sort of exciting. Hi, laddie, it is, it is. Come on, let's get to me ship. What have you done to me, Zero? Which way out of this blinking hole? Just get into the chamber there. Into the chamber? You'll be all right. Get in. I know when I'm licked, Captain Zero. You've got the upper hand. It's a pleasure I've had to be known you, laddie, to be sure. I meant you no harm. And just to prove that old Blackbeard's got a heart of gold, Here's a piece of eight for you. All for your very own. Gosh, thanks. Jet, stay back! Grab your gun, Captain Zero. His blade be sharp and his throat is soft. If you so much as touch him with that knife, I'll blow off the top of your head. I need no head to wield a knife. Now, Captain Zero, you can use your magic machine to put me back on me ship. But just to make sure I get there, the boy goes too. Okay, Blackbeard. But remember what I said. If you harm Jet... Have no fear, Captain Zero. I'll not harm him. Me head may not be pretty, but I wouldn't care to lose it. Just put me back aboard me ship like you said you would, and the boy goes free. Now, laddie, in you go. Don't worry, Jet. I'll pick you up in a few minutes. All right, Captain Zero, the poop deck, if you please. Good riddance. Now I'm in command of the ship, and Blackbeard's share of the treasure is mine. Too bad you're no longer with us, Blackbeard. So I could laugh in your ugly face. You can, Richards. You can. <laughs> I don't know how he does it, laddie. Zero on his magic machine. 
That's what we need. Safe on me ship. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure knowing you, Mr. Blackbeard. I guess I'll be leaving you now. Aye, laddie. But not the way you think. And if he starts to disappear on me, I'll scuttle your skeepers. Do you that, Captain Zero? You don't frighten me with your black magic. It isn't black magic, it's science. Science, is it? When a man's here, suddenly he's there, and he's here again. But you don't understand. I understand, all right. You thought to steal me treasure with your magic. But you made a mistake. And I caught you. Now you'll walk the plank. Petro, reverse polarity on the chamber unit and stand by for a fast materialization. Yes, sir. I'm keeping me word, laddie. I told Captain Zero I'd free ye as soon as me feet hit the deck. Get as free as a breeze, me bucko. You can walk as far as you like. And you'd better start moving or a ball in the back will help you. Captain Zero! Captain! All right, Tetro, throw the switch. Captain, we can't materialize. The polarity reactor is fused. Captain! Captain Zero! Keep walking, laddie, or me gun will talk. On up, light, laddie. The wizard Zero can they help you now. I, too, know something of magic. Witches and demons fear fire and water. I think you both. The joke is on ye. Magic can work on the land, mayhap. But it may can work on the sea. Keep moving, laddie. Captain! Keep moving, laddie. Captain! Keep moving, laddie. Zero. He did it again. Are you all right? Yeah, I, I guess so. In fact, you caught me before I even hit the water. Good. But we've still got a score to settle with Blackbeard. He promised me he'd let you go free. I know. Reactivate the view screen back to Mulberry Island. I want to find out if that treasure chest is still there. Yes, sir. There it is, Captain. Stand by to materialize. OK, throw the switch. He isn't going to find it gone, Jet. Here, put his guns in there. And his sword, too. What are you going to do, Captain? You'll find out. Stand by to dematerialize. Yes, sir. Stand by to activate the view screen. Now watch. At least my treasure's safe on the island. Far from the eyes of my crew. <laughs> me treasure! Zero, you blasted wizard! If I ever get me answered. On the other hand, Captain Zero, suppose we let bygones be bygones. Well, we cleaned out the vault, Jet, but it's still empty. That's right. I didn't get Blackbeard's treasure, but I did get a piece of eight.
standing by when we again transmit you to this remote location on the planet Earth, where Captain Zero and his associates will conduct another experiment in time and space.